Hey there. It's the first weekend of 2023. I got a fun new tool for myself so that I can hold my camera at a better angle and you can see a lot more that's going on. It is Saturday, January 7th of 2023. This year we're having a lot of changes and this weekend we are traveling to do something fun, to make some plans, to show the kids some things that we're thinking about and it's part of our day. I'm not going to show it all to you just yet but we do have a lot of work to do in the backyard. A dump haul needs to be done and lots to get taken care of before we can go on our big adventure, which is planned for just a few months away. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be able to share it with you. I want to thank you for joining me on my journey. My journey to make my life better, make my kids' lives better, and have a lot of fun along the way. Find our freedom, solidify our faith, and really just give ourselves the foundation of life that we're looking for and need. If you're new to my channel, my name's Danielle. I am the Zodiac Tiller. I was born and raised a city girl in Missouri. Oh, I hate this beep. Do you hate the beep? Let me start the car. I was born and raised a city girl in Missouri, and I am learning how to be a country girl that has some self-sufficiency underneath my belt can take care of my family, take care of business, and not have to rely on the grocery stores, on the government, on other systems that are in place for us to rely on. I wanna fully rely on God and my family and my community. We live here on our urban homestead in South Carolina. We moved to South Carolina, oh golly, that sun is bright. We moved to South Carolina at the end of 2020. We moved into this home in November of 2020, and I have built a garden and learned a lot of lessons, but one lesson that I learned more than anything else is how much I want some freedom. I need less people next door to me looking at me. I need less people telling me how to live my life, and instead, I wanna live my life how God tells us to live our life. God tells us to love one another. God tells us to depend on him, and God is our foundation. So I'm taking you on this journey so that we can find our path that he has us on. And maybe you'll get some inspiration. Maybe you'll learn something along the way. This is more of a how I do than a how to, for sure. But maybe you'll have some advice for me. If you do, I would love for you to leave a comment for me. Give me some direction of things to look up and I will definitely be researching it. So come on, let's go. I got to get the kids, get the honey. We got to get in the car and get on our first adventure of the day. Fun fact, the American flag that plays at the end of my videos is this American flag at Camping World. If we're gonna move, as I plan that we're going to move, by end of April, early May, I need to make sure I get this backyard cleaned up. There's a lot of work that needs to be done out here. I planned on spending most of my day today out here taking care of business. We got our first to-do item checked off of our list for today. Now we're back home. I've got the baby girl down sleeping. My boys are resting. My daughter is getting something to eat and my honey of course is helping her with that. So I'm outside enjoying this beautiful sunny day with a crisp chill in the air. 
and I plan to clean up this backyard and take care of business back here so that we can keep moving forward with our moving plan. Today is now Sunday. I got a lot done yesterday in the backyard. We did a dump run, dropped a lot of trash off, and then my oldest son wanted to go and spend his Christmas money, so we took him to all the places that he wanted to go searching for stuff. Now, like I said, it's Sunday, next day, reinvigorated, ready to finish this backyard project. Almost fell over backwards. Oh, little guy, I don't know where you're going. Ah! Go away. Find a new life. Oh, we're on the subject of South Carolina animals that you don't have in Missouri. Look at this ginormous ant colony. 
They attacked me when I moved my pots. I got bit. And funny thing is, my bites hurt less after I shoved my hand in the dirt. Maybe it worked. Maybe I'm crazy. But more work to do. Oh no, now he's just gone. Well, him was green and he was tiny. And now I have no idea where he is. Great. This is where I wanted my seating area to be, in the middle of my garden. Cleaning up this yard has been a whole host of emotions. I have the full intention of my gypsy plan to improve my family's health, bond, faith, and finances. And it's really hard to be ripping out the plants of the garden that I was growing thinking I was staying in South Carolina and that we were on on our way to our promised land, but to, to see the struggle that we continue to be in, that no matter the circumstances or the place, we still have a lot of the same financial struggles. And how do you change something that you feel you've changed so much already? and yet you're still on the same path. For us, for me, it's completely letting go and trying something way off the map. It is exciting and scary and our kids are on board and we're ready to go, but now I'm cleaning up the backyard and cleaning up the garden knowing that we're leaving everything. I'm getting rid of so much that we have worked to get. I'm ripping out the roots I thought I was planting here in the hope with our faith that our promised land is still coming but maybe it's going to be brought to us in a different vessel. Brought to us some other way. The traditional, which is not really the traditional, it's only the past, what, 100 years or so where it's by the house in the neighborhood and have the car and have the stuff and have the parties and have the friends and have all of these things because that's what makes you a great family that traditional we are throwing out of the window and we've not been a traditional family for a long time we have been the black sheep of the family and we enjoy that we like that we go the unbeaten path and we have different results 
and we have such a strong love. I know this is our way. I know this is our path. I know that all my work is not for nothing. I know that amazing things are on the horizon. I know that God is taking care of us and doing everything that he can to show me the path. I created a giant junk pile. I got rid of a ton of stuff. I believe this is our keep pile. It's a lot of keep garden stuff. I'm gonna wash it all out before we put it in storage. The shelving would be beneficial while we're putting stuff in storage to stack stuff on. Compost pile, I am keeping going. There's a lot of purpose that I can put into the compost pile. I can then spread it around what remains at the house when we leave. And I have intention for it. I want to leave the land better than when I arrived. Burning pile, burning stuff. We're going to burn a lot of stuff um, and continue to clean up the backyard with burning all of those beautiful sticks that I had saved. Finally, my aloe vera plants. These beautiful aloe plants were so gorgeous this summer. They did survive from the year before, so I have a feeling they'll uh, survive the frost again. They did really, really well underneath this peach tree. So I dumped them under the peach tree. They survive, right? They don't, they don't. But I'm going to throw compost under here and I actually hope they thrive and survive underneath here and come back year after year. One thing that we think would be really neat is if all the stuff that we have planted, like the lemon tree in the front yard, the fig, the peach trees in the front yard, the aloe back here, if some of our stuff continues to come back to life and continues to thrive, we think it would be really fun to come back here in a few years and to see what's living. Um, we plan on kind of putting signs around everything so that the people that move in next or just our landlords know what we planted here. Maybe they'll choose to continue to let it live. I'm excited about the adventure. We've got lots to pack, lots to do. Um, lots to take care of like this but all of this feels so good it feels so right it almost feels like it's fueling that new thing to do spark inside of me um, has me on the path towards our homestead this all has to be taking us on a journey in a direction that we are meant to go on and we just, man, with like every fiber, every ounce inside of us, we believe this. Like we believe this is what we're supposed to do. And through all the hard in our life, I believe all of that was supposed to happen for this. I'm excited. I hope that you are excited to watch me on my journey. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like uh, the video. Give it a thumbs up. I hope you watch more videos. I hope you're subscribed. Thank you so much. I'll be sharing more soon. God bless. Took a shower, got myself clean, and brought Winston outside. Could not stand the stairs looking how they did, so I took care of it. Yay! Now that this is all cleaned off, it's finally accomplished. Cleaning up the backyard was just one step to being ready to move. This checked off the list.